Hey everyone Zef here and welcome to Crazy Kung Fu Overview. I'm pretty sure I saw this project overall like back in the day on SideQuest. This definitely has been a long time coming for the developers to get on the official store. I love how much work they put in the trailer, <laughs> like you'll see. It's definitely trying to oversell the concept with just the movement, the acting, like the whole package. But I appreciate the effort even though the trailer doesn't really have that much footage. <laughs> so Crazy Kung Fu is a martial arts fitness application where you embark on a challenge to become the greatest Kung Fu master of all time, train your technique and reaction time with a spinning dummy, become the unstoppable force you ought to be. It's kinda interesting because I never considered this as a fitness app though it very much looks like a proper workout and something that will tire you pretty quickly. The base concept seems quite simple because you have something in front of you, like a spinning multi-level pillar that has different attachments that you can either hit or you need to dodge, then according to the level is gonna be either faster or will have longer attachments, and I think the overall goal is to destroy it with enough damage you can put it into. That seems to be the main plot, there are different levels, environments and game modes, but like that seems to be the gist of it, so it's all gonna go down on the mechanics, and if the game is polished and precise with it, it's definitely something way different in terms of fitness or a working out concept that we have on the store. It's been worked on for a long time already, so I hope they bring it because it seems to be the time to do it. Let's train some moves. He who conquers himself is the mightiest warrior. Confucius? He really said that? <laughs> Punch the plank to begin. Oh, that's kind of a big discrepancy in the art style, it's like the trailer one. <laughs> Can I do both? I don't care really, but he's ugly. Which plank? You? What? I can't do my head. This tutorial we're going to cover the basics, punch, block and dodge. Oh wow, it's kinda of far away and I don't want to hit myself. Wait, right, maybe I'll recenter here. That will help. White flash for good accuracy and earth flash for bad. Does it need to be like in a certain Distance? <laughs> I have to adjust the recentering at some point. When you see this pad, you should try to hit as many times as possible. <laughs> oh, I have arm guards. Guess it needs to be like close to your face. No need to extend it. And it's just like a straight movement. But 
touching plates. Okay, I mean, with multi-levels, it's gonna be interesting. I guess squatting is better. Stepping back, oh. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> see, like, I think squatting would be my thing here. More tiring, but it's fine. I guess, like, a fight? <laughs> I have a very small play area. This is too far. Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, again! Ow! <laughs> Oh, the pad is following me. <laughs> I didn't even see this. <laughs> I no, I can't move. No, 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 no. Hey. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Damn. It's like literally testing my balance abilities. <laughs> Don't come closer. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disabling my guardian here. Hell no. I thought it's gonna stay in one place. I mean, <laughs> even with two square meters, it's like a struggle. Let's do. Actually, I don't know. Event? Whatever that means. Oh, it's locked. So a train. Oh, okay. Now it's static. I should have started with this. <laughs> it's so funny that when it disappears behind, you can't really predict what's gonna appear. Is it reacting physics? Yes, okay, of course. Okay, I mean, this was way better because it's static.
Now it's like the middle part. Oh wow, <laughs> it's moving. I guess I can also do that, like an upside down block. Definitely getting sweaty, but it's also um, <laughs> hot here. So we also unlock different environments and stuff. Wink Chon, what's that? Oh, press your arms in the outlines to start. Wait, what? Don't touch dummy arms when punching. I guess this is for like precision. Yeah, but I'm not gonna <laughs> hit my wall here. We have different bracers, colors, dodges, items? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's also premium stuff that we can purchase for real life money. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, if I would have more play space, at least maybe at home, then it would be interesting to play as a worker because it is tiring. I mean, it's cardio with reaction times and squatting and stuff. There's different game modes, which I didn't realize, like there's a moving pillar and a static one, so it depends <laughs> if you can play actually. And the workout seems to have like two with multiple stuff going on. Okay, that's fun as well. I mean, I don't necessarily get the art style in terms of the trailer or here, because it's like different from everything. Everything works with the mechanics, the graphics are well, I guess okay. It's not like the worst, the 360 in the background could be a little bit better, but here it's like, it's okay. Personally, I would think I would stick with Lemil simply because of my capabilities, but I see this being like a more gamified fitness application. So it seems like it's doing its job well and yeah, like congrats on the release.